fellow travelers. I'm Joe, and this is Good Times RV. Uh, today, we're picking up the RV. It's been uh, being repaired for the last couple months, actually three months, and uh, over some of the things that we've done. We're here at Classic Coach in Ormond Beach, and uh, it's a busy place. Lots going on. We'll have to load up the, the dolly in the car uh, and uh, head south home. Hopefully all is well. And I'll, over the next few videos, I'll go over all the pieces that, that we've, we've adjusted. In any event, hope you enjoy. I'll, I'll go over just some of the uh, items on the trip home. Tow on a dolly and a windy day, 
So I thought it would be a good day to update the uh, radius rods and anti sway bar I had installed in the front end. The uh, coach is tracking very nicely. Big RVs have come blowing, sorry, big, big trucks have come blowing by me and don't even notice it. No, the wind is blowing pretty hard today. Uh, I don't even notice that. I can hear it. I can hear it on the coach. Uh, I can feel it change in, in speed. When a big gust comes, it actually will slow me down a little bit. But the RV tracks trip straight. Uh, no problem staying in lane. Uh, no white knuckling stuff. It's just nice, easy drive. So I'm just you know, moseying along here. I, I typically don't drive fast. I'm on 63. And that's typically what I do. Unless I'm out west, way out west, when there's nothing around. I might pick it up a little bit. But I'm in no hurry. So we're going along here. It's a nice smooth ride. Very, very pleased with the radius rods and the uh, anti sway bar. Uh, and I find around town, especially uh, when I at, at traffic intersections, when I make a left or right turn, uh, the input is, is, is very precise. Uh, There's not a lot of wallowing around, trying to pick a direction, turn the wheel a certain amount, coach starts to arc almost immediately uh, and, and has a nice smooth turn. Uh, no hesitancy, no rocking, no moving like this around the turn. Just nice crisp turn. So, works out uh, works out incredibly well. well I'll, I'll, for those that haven't watched my other videos, I'll show you what the radius rods are. Anyway, and what they do, it's stabilizing the front axle keeps it from, from moving around on the bushings. The truck, big truck just came by me, didn't even know. Other than seeing him in my mirror, it didn't even feel him come by. Anyway, so I'll share some of the some of the scenes of the uh, installation and uh, I have to say very pleased with the radius rods and the sway bar. Now the suspension feels balanced. I have a liquid spring in the back. So I stepped that up to what they call sport mode. It's a little stiffer. And the front now is nice and stiff uh, in a sense of roll, not in a sense of spring. Still rides. The ride is the same. Uh, it's just it stays going in, in one direction. It's not a lot of moving around. <coughs> You'll see that the, I don't I don't have to move the steering wheel much. It uh, just tracks nice and straight. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the update. Keep you advised. Happy trails. Heading south on 95 in Florida. We just picked up the RV. Classic Coachworks. And some things done, but the one that I'm so excited about is the camera that's uh, placed by the fuel filler so that I can tell when I'm a beam the gas pump. I won't have to get back in and move the coach a few feet one way or another, trying to figure out when, I, when I, the hose would be long enough uh, to do the fuel filler, get the gas to the fuel filler. The, fuel fill is 30 feet that way. So when you've been away from the coach for a while, it's hard to estimate. You know, after a month or so on a trip, you can kind of figure out where it is. You can hit it pretty close. But getting back in the coach after three months, uh, it's very difficult for me to, to get a beat with gas, gas pump with the fuel filler. Now, no problem. The camera's going to work wonders for me. And it also makes it efficient in the fuel station, whereas I 
I know exactly how far I am from the uh, gas island, so I can get the wheelchair between the coach and the gas island, but don't end up parking in the middle of, middle of someone else's lane trying to estimate how much room I've got between the coach, the side of the coach and the or side of the coach in the fuel aisle. In any event, this will be exciting. So I'll, when I get to the fuel station, I'll, I'll revisit with you. Well, we made it to the MIMS rest stop, and in the additional parking area, there's a nice place where you can pull to the side of the road. Lots of room for the ramp to deploy, and uh, I'll just show you some picnic tables. Check the toe to make sure that make sure that uh, straps are tight and no problems. But uh, but from this direction, from this angle, everything looks great. The toe, lots of room, nice stop. Quiet, quiet down here, which is great. Uh, it's a good good rest stop. All right, we have, we've had a successful stop. Uh, running, of course, we're running a little late, but we always run late. Uh, ready to go. Uh, head down to get some fuel, uh, and then uh, I think we'll be home. See you at the fuel stop.
what space I need. Here we go. And when am I going to be lined up? Right about now. There I am. There I am. Fuel pump. Okay, I was able to pull up right to the pump. Uh, you'll note here that the pump is out past the blue lines. Uh, while the hose still reaches, uh, I was clearly too far from the pump uh, under normal circumstances, but I had no fuel lane on the right side or the passenger side, so it was okay. Uh, fuel, line fill, uh, fuel line did uh, come right to the RV, was able to fill up fine, uh, and clearly aligned with the pump. Uh, worked out. This worked out great. Of course, I have another video going over all the details of this installation. So we're done. We're done fueling, and uh, as soon as the aisle is clear, uh, we'll pull out of here and head on home. Uh, you'll note here when I I drive around in the fuel stop uh, that I really do uh, move slow. Uh, there's uh, any number of things that can go wrong here. You see all the cars and people, and the you know, sheriff here is going the wrong way. Um, I'm not quite sure if he's blocking somebody or just chose to go the wrong way. Um, but you'll see cars parked all different ways, and and uh, you people walking in and in and around the vehicle. So I always am very careful. Uh, to, to move slowly, and uh, you'd be amazed. As big as this rig is, uh, people will walk right in front of you and appear not to even see you. It uh, really is, is remarkable. So I, I move along at you know five or six miles an hour, and they, uh, there is a fast food drive through at the end of this building, which uh, is very hazardous at lunchtime because you get the cars zipping in and out of there and they really pay uh, no attention to the traffic. They just quick to get their lunch. I keep the gate open while I could in and out the RV. I put a rag over the uh, reflector that uh, allows a door to stay open, thinks there's something in the way. So I take the rag off and of course then the gate closes. Uh, this, of course we're, I'm arriving after hours. Well, it's been a short trip, but successful. 
it. Tried out a few of my new toys. The goal here is to back the dolly into that space next to the RV. Um, in so doing, I'm going to need to leave myself enough room to operate the lift since I'm traveling alone. So I'm going to have to come in at about a th at least a 30, if not a 45 degree angle. The RV will have to be at a 45 degree angle, though I want the dolly square in that lane. It's, it's going to be a bit of a challenge, but yeah, we'll see. And uh, Murphy, Murphy's Law, if anything can go wrong, it will. Now, this fellow, is, who is the owner of the white RV here, he's going to pull right in where I want to put the dolly. Of course, I'm getting into the, passenger, into the driver's seat of, the, uh, of my RV. I don't see him until, uh, until I'm seated. And then I'm trying to figure out, okay, now how do I get his attention to... Uh, move his car but quick two to the horn and uh, I got his attention Now you'll see me moving fairly slowly. I'm trying to figure out how to get this angle right. Um, I'm going to need enough room to operate the lift. Um, and that lift is pretty far back on my coach. So I'm kind of working the angles in my head, trying to figure out exactly how I'm going to get the dolly where I need it to be. And, uh, and not screw this up. Thankfully, there's still some sunlight, so I don't have to do this in the dark. But um, as it works out, um, I had to think, like I said, I'm thinking it through, trying to get the angles just right, and I'm trying to, to get that dolly exactly where I need it, uh, so that I can can put it put it where I want it and still get out of the RV to unhook it. But um, you'll see here, I'm doing a couple, a couple moves, maneuvers to get that angle just, just so. Interesting, when I do this at a campground, uh, the other campers literally get their chairs out to watch. They'll line the side of the road and watch me try to move this dolly around. It's, it's actually laughable, uh, they, but they are quite interested and find it to be uh, something worth watching. It's very important not to overcorrect for this dolly because it, it, any steering input really makes it move around. Uh, so I'm looking here and saying, okay, I've got it just about right. And all I need to do is, you know, maybe a quarter turn of the wheel to get it to turn in. And at what point do I want to do that? Here we go. A little turn of the wheel and that thing angles right where I want it to go. And then, of course, now to stop it before I hit his RV crank the wheel the other way and a little bit of an uphill here I'm trying to be real real careful and right where where, where I want it and the lift um, did uh, clear his RV by inches uh, but of course, that's life. It's a game of inches. See you on the road. Safe travels.
I'm Joe, and this is Good Times RV.